I'm sorry to uh, interrupt your Kendrick Lamar versus uh, Drake diss track listening watch parties, man. Uh, listen, I know I know Kendrick is dropping all this heat, man, but watch my video while you listen to the song. All right. Listen, we got a dope video. Hopefully it's dope. We got a dope video planned today. All right. So I've. I haven't done a toge yet. This isn't really a toge. This is. I've never driven on this this map before. I've never driven on this on this road, and I know it's intense. I've seen the videos. I'm gonna attempt it today with these four vehicles that you see over yonder. All right. So, how well will it go? I don't know. I I I I, I have have low hopes. All right. But uh, just wanted to say, like always, I appreciate everybody who's watching these videos. I appreciate the love and support that we're getting. Listen to listen to the the this the diss track. Uh, I'm I've been I've been a Kendrick. I've been on Kendrick's side this whole time, bro. I know I'm light skinned I know I'm light skinned That don't mean I care for Drake. All right. I'm on I'm on I'm on Kendrick's side. <clears throat> Let's go. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try and do this like, not like realistically, but I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible without crashing. Um, I did, I, I kind of forgot what I put in this car. I think I put an RB. That's all I remember. And the sound is missing. I didn't manipulate the traffic, so I don't know why the sound is missing. This is gonna be the hardest one to drive, I feel. Mainly because I we can we can say this is me taking my project car to the to the to the trail before actually finishing it. Cause I truly like put a bunch of random shit in this. I'm really trying to drive like well. I'm trying to drive the best I can in this on this on this video. Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear shit, bruh. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to hear nothing. I did keep the cops off, though. I don't want to be chased. I refuse to be chased in this. <laughs> See that right there. That. Damn it, it's supposed to be a serious video. You can't floor it in this car, apparently. Oh, my brakes. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Probably should have just stole something else to bring out here. I'm sure, I'm sure if you're watching this and you're, and you're, and you've already listened to the songs. You've also already watched people analyze everything. So you don't need me to do that. But goddamn, Drake. Drake. <laughs> Just, we're waiting on a response, but goddamn, Drake. I'm sorry, but. They're not like us, bro. I don't know, man. I think Kendrick is 3 0 right now.
I would like to to uh what am I trying to say? I would like to get more engagement on the videos, man. So uh what I would like to know is cause I film a lot of different types of videos, right? Lately it's been mainly BMG and scary shit. I'm I'm more so wondering like what what like in terms of like beam g what do y'all like to see do y'all like to see stuff like this where i pick out a bunch of random cars and i just test them out on a random map or y'all like seeing like challenges or just driving and bullshitting y'all like seeing people who drive well sorry if you if you do it's in, in in game i don't drive well to be honest very difficult to And every shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Every time I say something like that, something happens. I'm dragging something. But yeah, like, what do y'all like to see in BMG? And then like, those of y'all that like the scary games, what? Uh, I want to recommend any games like. There's a lot of um there's a lot of like indie games that I can go on like itchio.com if, if y'all know what that is. I can basically go find a bunch of random as scary games to play. And uh I don't know what you do. Oof. Seems to be enough space to like white line here. Kind of. But yeah, like I could always just play like a bunch of random games and just post random random shit too, you know. Or do y'all want me to like do series again? Because I haven't really done a series in a minute, but I do have some series planned in the future. I'm not gonna say what games yet, but I mean, when they get filmed, you'll know. I I, I can't say. Should I? Trying to get us I'm nervous, bro. I was gonna try and drift this. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I was gonna. So I've been playing Car X lately to to learn how to drift. When I feel comfortable <laughs> uploading a Car X video, I will. But as of right now, it I would get clowned. <laughs> I would get clowned. For, for posting a car X video the way I drive in car X, bro. I, I am a terrible drifter. But I really want to learn, so I've been practicing. Slowly, I've been slowly getting into practicing. Played a few times this, this week, or last week, I guess. But uh, I thought about just attempting to drift this, this, this map. Cause I actually don't have a toge map. I, I was looking for one. I, I thought I downloaded a toge. I might, I might have it downloaded. I just didn't activate it. Cause I pretty much deactivated everything to fix my game. But, uh, just stay in third. Yeah. But yeah, I was going to attempt to, to drift this, but that, that wouldn't have gone great, I'll be honest. BMG is not the best game to try and learn how to drift. Which is why I have a Seto in Car X to do that. So if y'all want, if y'all want me to upload my learning how to drift videos where I learn how to drift in real time, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll gladly, uh, I gladly attempt to. I don't know how long this map is. It looked it looked long. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's, oh. Uh, uh, God damn it! <laughs> and there it is.
I think it's because I got 22 damn pounds of boost. Excuse me. Oh my god, bro. This is gonna annoy me. I'm 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 still trying to figure out where to put my my microphone. Because it's it's such a sensitive mic. I gotta be looking at it a certain way. If I look away, y'all y'all see it in my videos, man. There are times where I'm my mouth is moving, but ain't no, no sound coming out, and it's because I legit I either looked slightly away or I talked slightly too low and it just didn't pick up my, my voice. Which that's something that's hard to like fix in editing. So trying to figure it out. I, I usually have a when I'm playing when I'm playing card games, I mean, I usually have the boom mic, but I decided to use the arm mic. And they just said a desk. Since I could just easily move it whenever I need to, so the issue is it dips down to where it's right above my arm. Why did I do that? Why did I why did, why did I do that? Yeah, drifting this would have been a dumb dumb idea. This might be a long video if I if I don't drive I need to just drive a confidence. How about that? Drive a confidence. Drive a confidence. Stop. Stop yapping. Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. You know what's hilarious? I have uh What's that what's that rally car game? I forgot the name of it. Is it dirt? That I'm thinking about. I'ma throw up the name of it on screen, but I have that game. It's a it's a rally car game. It's one of the newer ones that just came out. I think it's like WRC or some shit like that. I have that game. I have yet to play it though. The only reason I bought it was because uh it went on sale. I've never played a rally game before. But yeah, the only reason I had it is because it went on a on a really good sale. I was like, I might as well cop this now because at some point I'm gonna want to try it. You know, that's one thing about me, man. I don't buy games until they go on sale. There's only a select few games that I've bought at full price because I just really wanted to play it, you know? And there's also a select few games that I've bought multiple times because they were just too damn good. <coughs> Skyrim. <clears throat> Man, if I told you how many times I bought Skyrim, it's probably even not even that bad, to be honest, but I, I, let, let's talk about it, right? All right, so let's, all right, I bought Skyrim. On the 360, that was the first first time I ever played it. Bought it on the 360. Then my 360 blew up. Right, it red ringed, red ring of death. 360 pop. I got a PS4 later. All right, I got Skyrim on the PS4. All right, cool. Uh, the PS4 blew up. So I got another PS4. But the difference is. Right. The difference is between the time of the first PS4 and the second one, I wasn't really gaming on the PlayStation. I got a PC. So uh, actually not even a full PC. I got a gaming laptop. Right. So guess what? I had Skyrim on the laptop. <laughs> and then uh, the Legendary Edition came out. And so I bought the Legendary Edition, which was another $30. And then, like, so because I was playing on the laptop more, I wasn't playing console and the, the PS4 blew up. Uh, I think I, I, I pretty much sold all the games that I had. So no more PS4 Skyrim. So, you know, maybe a year or two later, I got a new PS4 because I had missed playing games. And I think God of War had came out. Spider-Man, it came out. 
which weren't on PC at the time. And so I got a new PS4, but guess what I also bought? Another fucking copy of Skyrim. <laughs> now, now, at this time, the game is cheap as fuck anyways. But what are we on? Like four or five times now? Let's see. Three console versions and one PC version. Because I definitely bought it twice on PC. I don't know if I bought like the regular version and then I bought the... The legendary edition when it came out I just bought that but yeah that's what five times that I bought Skyrim which no regrets I think it was worth it <laughs> to be fair the only time I paid full price for it was the first time oh and and the legendary edition so twice But the legendary edition was 30 bucks. Came out. But the when it Y'all gonna hate me after this video. <laughs> it's, it's either gonna be a lot of cuts. You want you you want the insurance, bruh? There you go, bruh. Now now leave. Disperse. Disperse. Go, you already got your shit. I said go. I need to go crazy. Fuck it. I'm going crazy now, guys. Fuck it. I'm going crazy. And if I crash again, I'm switching. I'm switching to the next car. I'm not going to try and crash, though. Say hello to Bigfoot for me. Oh, this might be this might be a bad idea. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, I can drive this automatic. I'm driving this automatic, chat. Fuck it. Or paddle shifters. I'm cheating a little bit, bro. What's up with the build up? Jeez. Oh my god. I just scared everybody on this on this road. That boost build up is insane. I just don't want to focus, you know, too much energy on other shit, you know what I'm saying? Oops. Bad shift. But you know what? I thought this car would be a good, a good one to try because of the fact that it's all-wheel drive. I was looking for a Subaru. I don't have a Subaru mod downloaded, so I might have to find one. I've got a lot of mods on this game, bro. Should not have gone the third gear. I have a better time with this one. What y'all think, chat? H shifter or paddle shifters, bro? Because I've been thinking lately. I, I spoke about this in my last video. I've been a little conflicted with what I want to get for my next car. And my dream car has always been a 370Z. And so I'm kind of thinking about getting one next. But the issue is I would want a manual, but I also don't want a manual that makes sense so what I'm thinking about is what I'm thinking about is if I get an automatic then I might at a later date do a manual swap but while I have the automatic I was thinking about getting paddle shifters you know because I'm not about to buy this y'all y'all 
I ain't, I ain't got that money. <laughs> I'm not about to spend money on a on a Nismo Sport Tech just to get paddle shifters. I'd rather just buy the aftermarkets and then install them myself. Because apparently the wiring is already there in the base model. You just gotta you just gotta buy the paddles and that's it. Which is perfect. But yeah, that's what I've been thinking about is just because the whole reason I haven't gotten a 370 yet, it, not just the money wise, but like finding a a good finding a good manual one is, is difficult. Like I I'll find one and then I I'll look into it and it's it's either got <laughs> like way too many miles or it's been in accidents or hasn't had a clutch replaced but it's got 120,000 miles all that bullshit like, but they also want 25,000 for it because it's a manual that's, that's just annoying <laughs> so yeah that's, that's kind of what why I'm leaning towards an automatic now and I know what a lot of people are going to say ooh no, an automatic you got an automatic 370 ooh brother ugh. like bro at the end of the day i got the car that i want and i can always manual swap it at the later date of the month. <laughs> so. yeah that's what that's my my thought process on it right now i'm a, i think i'm okay with automatic Like the way this drives, though. Apart from the the slow ass build up from from first gear, it's got 38 psi in it. Come on, this might drive about. It brakes very well. This is this kind of making me feel like. The McLaren is is gonna be just a slight step up from it. It's gonna be a it's, gonna be, it's a BMG van. Jesus! Imagine hearing this build up in the back of you. <laughs> Imagine you just driving, having a beautiful day. You just hear fucking Godzilla building up boost in the back. Yeah, like goddamn. Speaking of Godzilla, bro, I haven't seen the new movies, but the transformation of the new Godzilla, I saw clips of it, though. The pink transformation, that shit was insane looking. It made me want to go see the movie. Now I want to know, has anybody done a, uh, a Godzilla style, like, edit? On an R34, like a new Godzilla style edit with, with like pink pink flames and shit. A pink flame map. If that's even possible, can you make pink flames? You can make it. When you drive with confidence, everything works out. We hitting this now. We hitting this now. Brick, 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 brick. That was a way early shift. I see now the corner of my the bricks. I probably should have tested these vehicles before I pulled them, pulled them, pulled them out. Pulled. Pause. I was trying not to make it a pause, but damn, I made it a pause. I should have tested these vehicles before parking them.
I got scared. <laughs> I got scared just now. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> I, at the corner of my eye, I seen my boost red line, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what do I do in this situation? Ooh. Okay. Oh, this motherfucker running from me? What are you doing? You trying to do the tail of the dragon too? What is the name of this map? <laughs> is it Trail of the Dragon or Tail of the Dragon? I know the answer. Like I have the ability to. Ooh, that was stupid. <laughs> I have the ability to look it up in game. Damn, does BNG have a of a VR setting? Because I low-key want to try this in VR. I haven't played VR in a minute. Hmm. Oh, I got a sneeze. I got a sneeze! <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> I try to prepare y'all for the sneeze so that I can cut it and then I fucking <laughs> sneezed while saying. What the fuck? Humans are gross, bro. Humans are gross. I'm actually, I'm actually enjoying this. Who was it? Who was it that that crashed their uh, their Porsche GT3 RS on the tail of the dragon? Was it was it TJ Hunt or Adam LZ? I can't remember who it was, but I had a thought of one of them or whoever it was that crashed theirs. Like, what if it in this game? <laughs> what if in this game they have an actual setting to where the Porsche cannot be driven on this map? That would be kind of insane. So yeah, I'm I'm still on the fence for this too. The uh I'm still trying to figure out what wheel I want to go to. Cause I wanna upgrade this one. Um I don't know if I wanna stick with Thrustmaster and just go to the 300 R the 300 S or RS, whatever it's called. I'm bad with names. I'm bad with names. Um But I don't know if I wanna go to, go with the belt driven version of Ghostmaster, which is a 300 RS or whatever it's called, or if I want to just go with Moza, save up for Moza, you know. Moza is expensive, you know, but I really want to try that direct drop, you know. And I saw that there is like a uh, a cheaper direct drive out there, but I don't know if I trust it. But yeah, I, I really want to try direct drive. I want to be, I want this to be as realistic as possible, minus the motion rig, because I would 100% get sick on the motion rig, especially the way I drive it. Like, I, I don't know how people can play using the motion rig. I don't know how people can play BMMG using the motion rig, bro. That's, that's terrifying to me. And then they'll put a VR headset on. Which now that I think about it, there is a VR mod for BMMG. It's a mod. But I don't see a lot of people use it, so I don't trust it. My exhaust is shaky. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've used VR. I kind of stopped using VR because of, of 
my old place, the, the room that I was in was just too damn small. But now that I'm recording in my own place and I'm in a living room, so I have a lot more space to work with. I probably wouldn't do green screen though, but I have a lot more space to work with now, so I'll probably start recording VR bits again soon. I don't know though, bro. Did VR did VR fall off? I haven't seen many people play VR except for boys. <laughs> Poise is like the only person I know that's keeping VR alive. Yo, I'm enjoying this. There's really enough space to 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 squeeze by all of this traffic. So. Okay. I still have the clutch in to use battles. Well, this might be the end. Ooh. Maybe not. This is a this is a pretty large large road to be honest with you. It's actually interesting. This is a real life road that regular people drive on to get places. Like this isn't just some like, you know, Drift King, Tokyo Drift style map. Oh, well that, that was also a real mode. I can't believe I just crashed there in both places. It wasn't really a crash, but yeah. But yeah, this is, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's not like some road that's meant for the, for like, racing niggas to drive on it's a fucking public road that regular people drive on to get to and from work and, and, and home and shit you know and because it's, it's it embodies everything that that racers love when it comes to driving so many people get attracted to it like car lovers and fucking bike lovers bro cyclists i'm gonna see cyclists on the tails of dragon like videos, not, I haven't been here personally. All right, the title of the video might be a little bit clickbaity, but uh, this might be my best driving so far. This might actually be my best driving so far, like. You can't, you can't deny, you can't deny that I'm not driving, I, I hope I would, whatever. You can't deny I'm not driving pretty well right now. Like for BMG, bro. Like I didn't crash there, you saw? I had good brakes. It's also because I'm not driving the fucking drift build. <laughs> God, I, I thought the end was 
I thought the end was so far, far back, bro. I don't, this is gonna be a long ass video. I'm sorry. Everybody you turn this so I think this is the end. Nigga move. Yeah, there's trees here. Alright. I just wasn't expecting niggas to be, you know, you turning like that, but Oh, we made it. Alright. Next car. Demon time. Demon time. It's demon time. Let's hope that this goes well. Oh my god, this bitch loud. <gasps> Jesus, I'm sorry. So there's no long boost build up, this just straight straight power to the to the wheels and that's it. Expect to be sliding out though. Now that we've gone through the track the trail completely once. I have more confidence. And this is all just a lead up for that McLaren, bro. The McLaren I'm gonna really enjoy. Wild ass shit. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of with a demon. Hey, you know what I'm wondering? Do y'all think, let me know, this might be an unpopular opinion, but let me know what y'all think, if y'all can even hear me. Do y'all think the demon should have been all wheel drive? Or do y'all think that it's just meant to be a real wheel drive fucking wheel destroying demon? Whatever. God, this bitch loud. I'm gonna turn it down for y'all, bro. Cause this is loud for me. In fact, I'm gonna turn it down for me as well. But yeah, I kind of feel like, I mean, for for this being a track car, for this being a drag car, sorry. I kind of feel like they would have, unless I'm tripping, is this, is this, is this rear wheel drive or is it all wheel drive? I'm gonna have to look it up and, and correct myself. But if this isn't all-wheel drive, do you think it should have been? Because I think it being a demon meant for the drag, drag strip, I just feel like it would have benefited more of her being all-wheel drive. Cause, Cause of all that. Move! Don't you hear a demon behind you? Move! When you hear this noise, you move over. What I say? I didn't even feel that. Tank coming through. Tank coming through. I just put a cheat code in San Andreas. Ooh. Best believe if I'm hearing this sound behind me, I am moving over. Good fucking, good fucking driving. Good fucking driving, Lou. Come on. Uh oh. I'm doing exactly what, what any demon driver would do. The hit and run. Ooh, I, oh my God. I caught that first one and then lost the second one. Just like a demon driver. That wasn't a total loss. We're, we're not counting that as a total loss. I, I panicked a little bit there. I ain't look. Motherfucker. I think I called that car a BRZ earlier. That is not no BRZ.
so glad that tree wasn't real and then I broke my axle immediately after. Ah, bro. I didn't come here to, to lose the demon so quickly. that this was not automatic <laughs> oh I'm tripping out oh no I think the I think I've been corrupted the Mopar the Mopar sickness has corrupted me now so now I'm just a menace I'm a menace to society I'm a menace to society. Oh, that bit. Oh, that drift trap. I don't think I like this fucking car. I'll be honest. The whole reason I brought out the demon is because everybody knows you can't take a boat on turns. I'm sorry to disrespect y'all Mopar niggas, but if you want to race a, a, a Mopar nigga, Take them on turns, bro. You'll get them every time. They will They will not be able to handle these turns. But I wanted to uh, sort of prove that, that prove myself wrong and see if, you know, maybe with the right, well, I know with the right skills, you can do anything you want, but somebody who doesn't have skills, me, if I could somehow figure out a way to to keep keep this demon from only being on straight line races, bro. So far, it's been a challenge. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Not a challenger, just a challenge. Sorry. If I had stickier tires, probably, probably would have a better, better time. But also, it's a damn demon. You got so much power going to the rear wheels. It's, it's almost, it's laughable that you would not spin out at every point. Look, kind of hurt. I, I, we just gonna have to leave this one in the trees, bro. Next car. We're in the McLaren. I got this bitch in, in, in course drive mode, whatever that means. That's the spoiler popped up. So we gon' hopefully that means it stays playing into the ground. I don't have to worry about shifting. It's an automatic fool. So we should, this should be the best driving experience, right? How much does this car cost? 300 grand? All I know is for, for the title of this video to be what it is, I have to get this car to the end. I'm fully focused now. Focus on. Focused on driving and, and braking, bro. That's all I'm focused on. I, see, this is the luxury of having an automatic car that also goes fast. You don't have to worry about anything else but just driving, you know? That's why I feel like, you know, we should keep the manuals alive, but it's actually, we don't need to like shame people for not having a, a manual. Let's, let's, and I don't even think people do that anymore. But there are a select few that you'll hear it from. It's like, oh, you didn't get a manual. It's like, bro, you're you're a little, 
you're a little behind the times, bro. Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares anymore. Automatic is actually faster in some cases. I'm a bumper bandit. Sorry. Flashback to the Italy video. Which, surprisingly. Ooh. Can't you see I got triple your salary? I'm sorry. That was rude as fuck, bro. I promise I'm not like that. Ooh, but I love the way this moves. Expectedly. I expected it. But man, it's just... I'm, this isn't me advocating to, to buy a McLaren by any means. I'm not sponsored by any anybody, right? I'm not advocating to go your whole life to save up for a McLaren. But, of course, you would expect the driving experience to be this good. And I'm not even driving the real version, but, like, if you're paying this much money... See, I could have crashed there. And if I was in the demon, I would have crashed. But yeah, you would expect paying this much money to drive this well. But also, like, I've heard that... I've heard that technically the McLaren isn't worth the price that people pay for it. Because the parts are generally still... There's nothing special about the parts. It's mainly just the design and the brand name, you know? And I mean, yes, the engine, right? The engine is is where a lot of that price comes from. But let's be real. The engine itself is what, a hundred grand, maybe brand new from factory. So an extra 200 grand, I don't know the cost of a 320S. So I'm going to put it up on screen, probably. Um, but an extra 100 to 200 grand doesn't come from the parts that, that you put on the car. It's actually my understanding that a lot of Ferraris have like parts from like Audi and, and other shit, you know? Which is interesting and it's. It's generally the same plastic, you know? This Alcatara is the same Alcatara you'll find in an Audi or a BMW, you know what I'm saying? It's like, generally speaking, the parts come from the same places. The only thing that's marking it up is the, is the name of the car, you know? I might actually have to watch a, a, a price breakdown on cars, because like, Think about a Kona Seg, right? Or a Bugatti. Those cars are literally millions of dollars. Where does that price come from? Is it just the brand name? Or do they actually have parts in those cars that you wouldn't find anywhere else? Because imagine finding a Ferrari engine in an Audi, you know? And so you think about it to yourself, it's like, I'm driving an Audi with a McLaren face on it. But because it says McLaren, I just really debolt the fuck out of that dude. I wasn't expecting them to hit the fucking tree that hard, but damn. Oh my God, bro. I said this in the past video, I really want to do that like extreme uh, event thing. I forgot the name of it. Girl, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm terrible with names. I had to look it up for that video to, <laughs> to put on screen and I forgot the name again, but they basically, you can, they go to like different tracks in your city and they'll bring out all the luxury, all the, um, Exotic and hyper cars, not hyper, it's just exotics. Um, super sport cars, whatever you want to call them. They'll bring out McLarens, they'll bring out Porsches, they'll bring out the, the AMG bins, the GTR bins, they'll bring out like Lambos and shit. Like, 
and it's like a couple grand or some shit for one person to 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 do the experience. I think it's called the extreme experience or some shit. That was that was I got distracted by the sound of my demon back there. Sorry guys, we gotta do a little detour. I gotta be a responsible driver. <laughs> this bitch sound like cicadas, bro. <laughs> if you're from the south, you know what I'm talking about. This bitch sound like sound like cicadas right now. I gotta turn that engine off, bro, because goddamn oil leak happened and, and next thing you know I start a forest fire and and Smokey the Bear's coming after me next time, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't need that on my conscience, bro. Can you can you imagine how many cars get crashed in places that can't be reached and they just get left there? Like generally the ocean is what I'm thinking about when I think of that. But like there's also like trails like this that lead to like mountain mountainous drops and shit, you know? Like a lot of times you can't just get a crane out there and pick that bitch up, but you know. Like I remember seeing I remember seeing like the 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 floods that just happened in Dubai, right? There's a bunch of underground There's a bunch of underground uh parking lots filled with fucking expensive ass cars cuz you know that's all they got over there. And they're just underwater, you know? And they're trapped. They might have gotten them by now cuz that was that was like a a few weeks ago, but like imagine having to file a a uh, 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 insurance claim on multi-million dollars worth of, of of vehicles because of a flood, a freak ass flood that just happened randomly. Like, bro, climate change. Um, <laughs> this is not a political political video. Um, but no, like I I, I saw. <laughs> Okay, we're good. It wasn't my bumper. <laughs> I saw that uh the the commentator of the video was like Dubai is going to expect high premiums now due to this flood because you know insurance companies aren't gonna wanna pay out billions and billions of dollars because of a freak ass flood that just killed multi multi million dollars worth of, of vehicles. To all these rich people, bro. Well, Dubai is a different type of rich. Motherfucker, I know y'all seen the video of that dude driving his Kona seg through the flood water. Like, goddamn, like I get it. I get it. It's a fucking ex you don't want to to you don't want that to break, but you're risking it by just driving. <laughs> it made it though. Which is interesting. I'm actually curious how the Kona seg was able to make it and not, you know any of the cars but yeah nah Dubai is in an interesting place bro Dubai is an interesting place I know y'all seen trying to make that vertical city that's mirrored so it's camouflaged you know and I think Dubai is the one that just made that F1 track that looks like a fucking Hot Wheels track like a fucking Forza map or some shit. Like, god damn. Dubai is an interesting ass place, bro. Nah, bro. Driving a Kona Seg through flood floodwaters is a different type of beast, bro. He made it, though. He made it, man. But. Jesus, like, would y'all risk that? Would y'all, would y'all, if y'all, if y'all had a Kona Seg or Bugatti, you know, something that expensive, would y'all, would y'all risk driving it through floodwaters to get it to a, a higher level, a safer place? Like, would y'all risk that? Me, I don't know, bro. I think I would just hope for it. Oh, if I can afford a Kona Seg. You know what I'm saying? I could afford another one, I just feel. 
That's my logic. Like, if I can afford the Kona Seg, I feel like I should be able to... Smart... If, I, if I'm smart about it, right? I feel like if I can afford a Kona Seg, then generally I can afford two. You know? And with that logic, I should be able to afford three. If you don't get what I'm saying, basically I'm saying that at that point I have infinite money if I can afford a Kona Seg. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way... There's no way you're financing a cold <laughs> I don't know how rich people do it, though. Like, there's loopholes to everything. You might be financing it. Paying 20 grand a month for a cold And that's why he had to get that bitch out. Like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> but you know what's hilarious? The way they are in Dubai, I actually... I actually didn't think they had insurance, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> This, this is ignorance at its finest for sure but like my my main thought was like oh Dubai Dubai people in Dubai are just so rich that they don't even need an insurance claim They'll, they can break it and buy a new one immediately after if they want to you know I'm actually curious though, bro. Are there any poor people in Dubai? Now I gotta go to Dubai, bro. I feel like the only way I could go to Dubai is if I'm rich myself. <laughs> it's like, I can't, I can't be, I can't, I, I probably won't ever be Dubai rich, but if I can get at least America rich, you know, I think I'd be okay with going, with visiting Dubai for a bit. You know what I'm saying? It might be a pride thing, but I feel like I'd be looked down on. <laughs> I, let me know, man. If it, if it, I did not just crash my McLaren. I did not crash my McLaren. It's just a little overheating. Hold on, I gotta pull over, bro. You can't just drive a McLaren like this. You gotta, you gotta let it, you know, cool off. Oof, sir. McLaren coming through. Oh, hell no. You're not about to act like you got the space. Rude ass. I forgot what I was saying. Something about Dubai. Let me know in, let me know in the comments, bro. If you, uh, you've ever been to Dubai how are they with tourists I feel like they I feel like they love tourists but like, but like do they look down on us on us peons <laughs> I just imagine walking through the Dubai airport and they're, they're just checking your net worth as you walk in like oh oh okay you're not you're not you're not even America rich damn Actually, what is the currency in Dubai? Because their their economy could be so good that like you could have a hundred grand in Dubai and be Dubai rich. So who knows? I don't know why I keep talking about Dubai. Probably because I've been in McLaren. It's like once you buy a McLaren, you start having these thoughts. You have these, you have these rich people thoughts, right? Oh no! Oh, saved by the tree! Oh my God! Saved by the fucking tree. I would have been pissed if I had launched this off the fucking <laughs> off the off the the, the the road, whatever you want to call it. Tried to get a little. You know what I've noticed though? I don't know if the real tells it. I'm pretty sure it does. It has to. Why are there no signs? No 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 Chevron signs for these turns, bro. I should be seeing Chevron signs. 
sniper every every little turn saying hey this is a blind turn hey slow the fuck down hey use caution hey don't cross the double yellow to pass gotta wait for the the dotted yellow or, you know shit like that ain't a single sign on this map and therefore i blame the city i'm pretty sure i could legally do that if i drive on a road that has no signs and i crash in a way that doesn't make it look like I did it on purpose. I'm pretty sure I could sue the city for that. It's like, sir, I didn't know there was a speed limit here. There were no signs for that. I didn't know that this corner was that, that fucking tight because you didn't have chevrons up and there's no damn guardrails for these cliffs. Not a single bit of safety out here. So yeah, like another thing that I'm interested in is motorcycles, right? So I really want to get, I really want to get a sports bike. But a part of me is wondering if I would take a, if I would take a sports bike on the tail of the dragon. I think at some point I'd get the confidence to do that, but it would, it would take a good bit of, of time for me to want to want to do this I wouldn't even do this in a car like at the speeds that I'm doing in the game like I wouldn't do this in real life in a car until I'm getting ready and there's you yeah I like that it's literally a down tree all right chat so that's gonna be the end of this video uh, we finally went on the on the tail of the dragon. I didn't look up the name, so if I'm saying it wrong, I am so sorry. I'm gonna do the whole cut and actual name in the video. Um, but we finally conquered the t the tail of the dragon, trail of the dragon. Uh, this road, we finally conquered it. I've been wanting to drive this road for a minute, um, and we did it in four different cars. And there's a lot of pedestrians that could make a U-turn. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it, it for me. Uh, let me know if y'all enjoyed the video. The way to do that is to like, comment, and or subscribe. You know, subscribe if you want. We still got the sub goal of 500. Uh, we're almost there. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. That's going to be it for me. I will see y'all in the next video. Will it be BMMG? Probably not. Probably yes. It's a 50-50 chance right now, if we're being honest. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, I love y'all. And peace out. Got his ass.